Hello, world. I'm Chris Perillo, and you've tuned in to another live edition of the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. Not just the news, but answers that you can use, like an answer to the question, why am I wearing this buckwheat wrap around my shoulders? It is heated because my shoulder over here is still a little sore. I have a muscle that was tightened. It wasn't pulled. It was tightened, and it hurts every time I did this. So, so I've, I've worked it out. I've worked out all the kinks now. I'm perfect. So this is keeping me from... I don't. I really don't know. I think it feels okay. I don't know if it's keeping me from anything. Like, do muscles actually fly out of your body? I don't know. I am not a muscleologist. It's not really what I do. Thank you for tuning in live. If you are tuned in live, it's easy to do, and hopefully you can join us at some point with these live broadcasts. We do several of them every single day, and you can. All it takes is just $2 a month. $2 a month! That's the pledge level. That's where it starts, at chrisperillo.com. It's our Patreon campaign. Easy to join, easy to keep going, and then you get to participate in chat, do the hangouts with us, get tons of bonuses. Starting again at just $2 a month. Uh, so thank you for tuning in live. I am a little hot because this is a heat wrap. I'm sweating because it's uh, you know 70 degrees outside here in uh, Seattle at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I've got an LED bank in front. There's a lot of heat going on here in this general region of my world. Oh, I'm hot. Hot. Am I the only? Is, am I? Am I the only one who's hot? Am I the only one who doesn't like summer? I think I am. In Seattle, I, I feel like I'm the only person who does not like summer. Well, no matter. Uh, I do have to thank our sponsor as we roll into things, the things that I'm going to be sharing with you today. Citrix, go to assist the number one global market leader in remote support. Sign up today for a 30-day free trial. And if you purchase an annual plan before March 31st, 2015, you'll get a free Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. I'm sorry, just a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4. I don't think it's an S4. 4. Not to be confused with the S6. Samsung Galaxy Tab 4. Visit gotoassist.com to get started. It's easy to do. Uh, today we posted a CPU episode in the classic YouTube channel. Hopefully you're still watching, you're still subscribed, more geeky things happening there. How to do just about anything on iOS. I also posted my Sriracha Potato Chips review. A universal remote control device for iOS review called the Pronto. And also have posted a 28% discount on the Bobine Ultra Flexible iPhone 6 and 6 Plus dock. Boy, I keep throwing t on the end of words. And I don't mean to. Can I try that again? Deals.lockergnome.com. Bobine. 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 I don't know how you say the name, but it's an ultra flexible iPhone 6 or 6 Plus dock. 28% off. Plus skill feed. 45 day subscription for free. And the Revogi Smart Power Strip at 33% off. It's my hope to get a hold of the Revogi Power Strip to do a review in a CPU episode for you, so you should stay tuned for that. I tweeted out, uh, it was earlier today? Or maybe it was just last night, I can't remember. I, uh, the, the, it's, uh, the world is kind of like a blur for me. And uh, said that I'm not going to be getting a Samsung Galaxy S6 that I know of. Or what is it, the HTC One M9 that I know of. Here's why. Uh, even though I apparently know people who work at these respective companies, uh, I don't get review units all that often. And, uh, you know, I posted this on Facebook and had a few people uh, comment, and, and they say, well, maybe it's because you, you don't do gadget reviews anymore or something along those lines, or that, you know, I've changed. I'm like, you know what, I really haven't. Honestly, I just, I, I, I refuse to believe that I've changed. The first video I posted to YouTube was a comedy, vi comedy video of me, like, flapping my arms to uh, airline announcements. The second video, or third one that I posted, was a Jones Soda test, like a taste test review. Uh, I, I did a whole bunch of wacky things in the beginning. It wasn't just, you know, technology, and even when it was tech. Think about how many hardware devices I've actually talked about, I've actually reviewed. I don't do it on a, a regular basis. I've never been as much of a gadget freak as much as I have been someone who's interested in software and usability and tech as a lifestyle. That's it. Um, but, you know, I always take uh, any opportunity that I can when I have a chance to talk about a product, review a product, but I don't necessarily do that and, and want to do that. I take advantage of them because I need hardware, like many of us need gadgets. So, for example, today for the CPU episode, I did a review on the uh, uh, Akatio Thundergo, and I don't know if that's how you say the brand name, Akatio. It's an external uh, SSD, one terabyte drive. And this is something that I would absolutely have used and will be using. Like, this is amazing. So that's a leading example of the kind of uh, device I would look at. 
when given an opportunity to look at a smartphone, yes, I'm going to take a look at a smartphone, but I'm not going to geek out over specs like a lot of people geek out over specs. I'm not going to take away from that. If you want to, you know, listen to people talk about specs and amazing camerography, camerography, can I say that? I just did. Videography? That'll pass. That's awesome. It's just not me. I, I'm not a production geek. Dude, I'm sitting here, you know, talking to you as a real person, a human being, as I was called today, a kidult. That's my name now. I, not my name. It's my label. Kidult. That's what I am. Uh, with a bag of beans hovered, or, uh, hovered, hanging over my uh, neck, you know? So uh, I'm just trying to keep it real with you. you know, th th I've never been that person that other people think that I had been, and I, I never was. I haven't changed. Nothing about my story has changed. I like hardware. I just don't blah, blah, over hardware as much as blah, 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 other people. Blah, 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 new hardware. It just doesn't. It doesn't do it for me as much. I mean, I do, I like it. I, I appreciate it, but not at the same level that others do. That's why it's a bit challenging. I'd rather talk about a new app than a new um, a new piece of hardware. Now, speaking of a new app, I had a chance before I dive into the rest of the news here that I have outlined today. Uh, okay, I meant to, I mentioned this the other day. Canon is still looking for your stories, funny tech support stories. If you have any funny tech support stories, I've got the link for our YouTube video in this video's description. Uh, also, speaking of videos, I did a Star Wars live stream. It turned into a Star Wars live stream with Basher. And he's a big Minecrafter and amazing guy. Also, a fellow Star Wars nerd. We had Jerry, or a.k.a. Barnacle's Nerdgasm in on the stream. I felt so bad because I didn't realize he didn't like Star Wars as much. And we, we just kept answering questions about Star Wars as asked by the people who had tuned in. We That, that, that got like 20,000 views. And I'm thinking, I'm really going to talk to Basher about starting a, a, like a, a co a co-branded, like you, we both work on it together kind of thing. Very simple. Maybe one uh, one hour a week we go live or maybe two hours a week, you know, same time, uh, with a Star Wars stream. And we just we create a new channel dedicated to just Star Wars. And it's just it's very simple. Once a week. It's very, very uh, reliable. It's easy, uh, fun, and we can do it together. Because that video got 20,000 views, and it's still getting views. Not as many as what did in the beginning, but that's amazing. I'm like, there are other Star Wars geeks out there who love talking about that stuff. So I, I, I want to create another channel dedicated to that. Um, and I'd want to do it with someone uh, like Basher. So I'm going to see if he wants to do it. I haven't officially made the ask, but it li will likely happen. Now, uh, what did I wanted to talk about? Ah, my, it's right, right here. Like, right above my peck. Guys have pecs, I learned. Hey, is Earl Green watching? Earl, we got your uh, noodles today, the spicy noodles. Adam tried to make them, but uh, he made them wrong. He made them incorrectly. And so we're going to do them by the directions because uh, apparently these are Earl's favorite spicy noodles. So I want to try what Earl believes are the best noodles in the world, or potentially the best noodles in the world, instant noodles. So the app that I wanted to... Well, that's curious. Hang on, hang on. Um, <laughs> bizarre. Okay. Um, sorry, I was looking at, at a few. I should not look at apps when it comes to this. So let me go ahead and launch Periscope. This is what I wanted to talk about. This is a new. I I got excited about this. I tried Periscope this morning. Talked about it last week. It'd be kind of like Meerkat, and of course, doing live video on the internet is not new. But the fact that this is easy to use, it's dynamic, it's interactive, it's kind of cool. People were asking, what do you think about, they, they genuinely were on Twitter, asking me what do I think about Periscope compared to Meerkat. Having used both, Periscope is a slightly cleaner experience, but it's also very insular. Um, it's nice and you should absolutely install it. Uh, you should be following people, yes, you can follow me, you can even get a push notification when I start live streaming. Um, so I, uh, I'll be, I'll be doing Periscope here in just a bit. So watch my Twitter account if you're watching live. Of course, if you're following me on Twitter, you'll see me start to Periscope around TLDR. So uh, I'm gonna do that in a second. But Meerkat, I think I like it a bit more, despite Meerkat looking more like a Twitter spammer compared to Periscope. Because when you reply to uh, uh, like a, a video person, a producer in Periscope, it doesn't show up on your Twitter feed. Versus in Meerkat. If you reply to someone doing the Meerkat, it shows up in your Twitter feed as a reply, organically. I like that. I really genuinely do. I like the fact that currently in Meerkat, it's easy to scroll to see who's watching. Uh, so I like that part in Meerkat. I like in Meerkat that you can scroll through chat more easily. Uh, Periscope isn't as... To me, it's not as social. Uh, there, I said it. It's not as social as Meerkat. I'll, I'll still 
potentially use both. Par with Periscope, you can save the video easily. Uh, with So you can watch the Periscope videos that I did earlier. I recorded some or streamed some of me editing, but that didn't turn out to be very popular at all, so I don't think I'm going to do that again. And then the one I did, the first one that I did, was just me kind of dinking around here at, at the beginning of the day. Um, you know, my uh, with Meerkat, though, when you, when you stream something, it's there and gone. Like, once it's there, it, if you didn't see it, it's gone. You can save it if you wanted to, and I, I guess there are different applications that can help you with that. But uh, that's the value of Meerkat. Meerkat's more like Snapchat versus Periscope, which is kind of more like Ustream in, in, in that sense. So I've been streaming for a while, and I'm going to go ahead and start streaming again now that I said it. So uh, if you're watching this after it's live or listening to this in the podcast format, if you go to my... What do I title this? Uh, Talking... Hmm, what, what's, what's the next news story I wanted to cover? Oh, Facebook video. You can embed it now. Facebook video on every website. Welcome to... you know what, When did we do that? 2002? <laughs> Eons ago? Uh, okay, um, what are you seeing now? It's asking me what I see. I know what I'll do. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I was going to show you some of the things that I got. So I'm, I'm going to point to the camera, and I'm gonna, I, this is going to be like Inception here. I've got a oh, mess of stuff on my desk. Hang on, let me, uh, let me reorganize. Sorry, Earl, i got to move your noodles. I'm moving your noodles. I'm moving them around. Oops, sorry, brushed the mic. Did not mean to do that. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way as well. It's a little difficult to do because I, I don't like streaming messes, and I gotta hold this just right. So, what's on my desk? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so uh, Periscope sucks with sta uh, video stabilization right now. It really does suck, and uh, it's like vertical video. Sorry. Let me see if I can. Ah, see, it doesn't want to rotate. Oh, it's depressing. Uh, plus, you can't default. It defaults to the camera pointing out. Not to, like, the selfie camera. That kind of sucks, too. So let's go ahead and start the broadcast here, and we'll give you, we'll double dip here. I'm streaming TLDR live to all of my supernomies, a.k.a. the patrons, and I'm demonstrating Periscope, showing people what is on my desk right now, or at least some of what's on my desk. I'm going to hold up this Easter egg. That's right. Look, it's an Easter egg. It's Yoda on the front. He's embossed. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in Diana's room. We also have an R2-D2 Easter egg with Darth Vader, I'm sorry, and Stormtroopers on the other side. That's rather amazing. And we also have a purple egg. It's got Darth Vader on it. See, I'm double live streaming right now. Right now. See, I'm streaming onto YouTube, streaming into Periscope, and I'm doing it. See, you could watch the YouTube feed with the full half-hour broadcast, but you got to become one of the patrons. It's easy to do. We got a Patreon campaign starting at just two dollars a month. It's pretty easy. Uh, so there are the eggs. Then I also have. Oh man, I keep brushing the live stream mic. Sorry about that. Ultron. Oh, here's a bonus there. So all the people watching on YouTube can see the back of the box with all the characters, and everybody else watching Periscope can see the front. And then I can put it down, turn it around. There you go. The other side. This was sent to me by DorksideToys.com, and I appreciate it. They sell pop vinyls there. They sent it. I have to review this separately. And then, I'm not sure if I can show this off. I mean, it's a little, um, how, how, do, I, how do I describe this? Uh, I got a package today from Mucky Chris, and uh, he does 3D printed objects. This is a 3D printed object of what should be the idol that uh, Indiana Jones grabbed at the beginning of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And uh, it, it doesn't look exactly the same, but he sent it to me, and it is kind of cool. I really, uh, I really, I really think it's amazing because uh, he did it, and I told him he should do it. But uh, I've got some feedback for him. It was still rather cool. You can see the fertility statue has got a child between her legs there from Indiana Jones, right there. It's a piece of plastic, 3D printed and spray painted gold. So now I have that statue in my collection. I'm going to go ahead and stop the Periscope and continue out with the live stream that we feed into the Geek Lifestyles YouTube channel every single weekday and, of course, record as a podcast. You swipe down to pull that. Do I swipe down? Oh, the cool thing is with Periscope, you can swipe down with the live video and you can get geeky stats, nerdy stats. That is kind of neat. I know people are like, no, no, no. Well, tune into the live. Dude, I do this every freaking day. Okay, I got to stop the broadcast to continue with the other broadcast. Bye,
Now I have the option, it'll it'll save it. The option to save it, I will do that. I think the retention rate is way off, but I had 92 total viewers just then. A duration of 2 minutes and 44 seconds. Time watch, in aggregate, with all those people, almost 2 hours. 2 hours of view time there. So, uh, yeah, it's good. What's on my desk? Ended just now. Kind of neat, kind of dynamic, kind of fun. And I, I, did the, uh, I did the Inception thing. And I don't know if they could see the fact that I was wearing wearing this, uh, what, what would you call it? It's like uh, sack. Sacco, uh, what was it? Buckwheat? Sacco Buckwheat. Amazon shocked the world by selling amazing things. But it has also further shocked the world today by announcing un unlimited cloud storage. Yes, unlimited cloud storage for all your photos and files and anything you want to put there for just $60 a year. See, now Google, they charge a lot. Dropbox kind of charges a lot. Apple charges a lot. Amazon, eh, it's unlimited for 60 bucks. Unlimited, 60 bucks. Man, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Even if you don't use Amazon, even if you don't want to use Amazon, the fact that they're doing it, Dropbox is soon going to uh, do have to do the same thing. Apple, potentially. Google, potentially. Microsoft, of course. Storage is going to become free, guys and gals. Got to understand that. I mean, we've been saying this for years. It's it's just not. I mean, it's worth paying for, yes, but it's not. It's not a hook anymore. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how competitors uh, respond to this. I would expect Apple to be the last one to respond, but I bet you Dropbox will respond in tow. I bet you anything. And then Google. That's all. It's good. Like I said, without competition, you don't have something like that. The world needs more competition. Even if you think a product is horrible and you never want to buy it, you still want it to exist. Trust me, competition makes your products better. Your, your favorite things will get even better in time. Google, this is other good news, for me at least, Google will finally improve Chrome scrolling across all the platforms by using a Microsoft invention, the pointer event support. Google at one point said, nah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, nah, it's, that's not our thing. We're gonna, we're gonna do our own thing and, We'll be fine. Well, everybody, okay, maybe not everybody, a lot of people have complained about scrolling in Chrome. Myself included. That's my official, that's, that's the word I use for Chrome scrolling something. It's just jittery. Jank, 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 jank. Jank, 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 jank. It's going to go away. It may take a while. they got to work on compatibility, but at some point in the future, Chrome scrolling will get buttery smooth. For real this time. Unlike Project Butter, it got a little better, but it wasn't buttery. It's going to be buttery now. Mm -hmm. I'm glad Google decided to do this. Very, very happy about that. Even if you never noticed the problem, the problem was still there. See, that's the thing. You know, if, if you don't perceive an issue that's awesome that's great congratulations some other people do and if those other people don't say hey that's a problem the problem won't get fixed and if you don't perceive it as a problem let me put it to you this way you're still gonna have something better when the problem gets fixed even if you don't know it yeah yeah you feel me you know what i'm saying here you got me okay fist bump Today, I went down to the EMP to cover a new exhibit, sci-fi stuff, out the wazoo. Uh, it's a new permanent exhibit with uh, all sorts of artifacts from uh, sci-fi uh, throughout the years. Classic sci-fi, newer sci-fi, amazing stuff. I recorded the video. It's very, very dark. I'm going to have to brighten it up in post and, uh, and then basically edit it and put it in the classic channel. It's going to be like a half hour long. It's a tour. It's basically, I'm giving you the full tour. I'm not exactly the full tour, but you got to go. It is really cool. And it's a permanent exhibit. It was really, really neat. I'm glad I got invited to go. Uh, they've invited me back for their party tomorrow night. George Takai is going to be there. Oh, my. That was the worst George Takai impression, I think, in the history of George Takai impressions, but I did it anyway. Layout is a new program from Instagram, and it's kind of neat. I've tried it. Some people like the whole layering of different photos in one photo. Uh, well, now you've got one for free uh, for layout. And of course, it integrates nicely within Instagram, but it's a separate app. And so if you want a good um, 
what would you call it, collage kind of application experience, you may look into that. Uh, I think that's easily going to become my collage app, go-to app. Because it, it was a clean UI. I mean, a clean UX. I got it. I understood it. I just don't use a lot of it. What I might do, like, for example, like if I want to take a picture of the eggs, like I, I do this, you know, and then in one, one, one square, and then this in another square, and then this in another square. Why did they use purple instead of red for Darth Vader? That doesn't, I don't have any other purple Darth Vader thing in the room. Nothing. The closest thing I have is this. The Easter milk chocolate Vader. It's the closest thing I have. It's just weird. I'm sorry. I was holding it backwards. It's the closest thing I have. It's just weird. I got another Darth Vader chocolate, but it came cracked. I'm so disappointed. Not anything that any of you sent, though, so don't worry about that. Uh, Microsoft Productivity Services will be on Samsung and Dell Android devices. I'm actually going to talk about this in a deep dive next week. Uh, fantastic uh, game plan. What does Samsung care? What does Dell care? They want to give you, as a user, a better experience. There's no law that says, well, depending on which law you're going by, which license you're going by, that says, Samsung, if you're going to put an Office app out there, you got to make it Google. Don't put Microsoft on there. Google couldn't do that. They just couldn't do, they couldn't do it based on how they've uh, treated Android to this point. So I think it's interesting to see... Uh, uh, it will be interesting to see... Android devices shipped with uh, Microsoft Office native. Because we've seen alternative suites, third-party Office suites, but nothing like the juggernaut. And let's face it, Microsoft Office is a juggernaut, even if you don't use it. People love the news, but won't pay for it. So, okay, this is, if you want to know, I'm so hot. Uh, if you want to know why, I have to take this off. No, not the shirt. The shirt stays on. Sorry. Sorry, ladies. Sorry. And, and guys, you know, if you want to see, it's going to stay on. Uh... By the way, if you want to know what I smell like today, I tried the Zombie for Him perfume, the or the cologne. You just stay tuned for the review. But I thought it had gone away, dissipated, Then uh, so I put the pizza one on over it. I reek, right? And I'm hot and sweaty, and I reek right now. Normally, I don't reek, but man. I smell like pizza that's been in a funeral par parlor for a year. That's what I smell like right now. <laughs> Uh, okay, so anyway, people love the news but won't pay for it. Um, if you want to know why I just changed the uh, the top of TLDR, uh, not just the news but answers that you can use, it's because to me I'm not just sharing news every day. I'm not just sharing news with you. Yeah, I'm sharing news, but you could read that news. You could read the link. You know, you come to me, you turn to me because you want my perspective. You want my insight. You want to know what I think, and I, I'm happy to tell you what I think. So I would never necessarily take, uh, you know, go to that, uh, that 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 extent of not wanting to pay for something, uh, but I think I'd much more be inclined to uh, pay for insight, n not knowledge, not just information. And so I would hope that, in the grand scheme of any time you ever decide to support a content creator like myself, that I actually fit in there, not just the information, but the, the knowledge that comes with it, and the, the fun stuff too, and the wackiness, and the you never know what's going to happenness, uh, but. This really wasn't news to me. Uh, people love the news but are not willing to pay for it. But that's one of the reasons why I'm going to move away from just saying geek news because it's not just the news. It's me. It's my. It's, I'm like the icing on that cake. You can have the cake, but then your mouth gets all... But at least with frosting, you're like... Mm, 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 it's more palatable. It's sweet. Next, uh, the large... Oh, I almost uh, said the wrong word there. Uh, Hadron Collider is set to look for parallel universes. Oh my goodness. Now, some people are freaked out because they think that we're going to open up the gateway to an alternate universe. Well, we are. Uh, but is this irreversible? Wouldn't that be weird if, like, suddenly we changed universes, but we wouldn't know it because we've changed universes? Oh my God. It's kind of like at the end of uh, Star Trek uh, Insurrection, I believe, when they beamed the Baku. Oh, it's been so long. Uh, I'm not a Trekkie. Or Trekker, uh, even though I saw a Batleth today, and uh, I mean in in person, I mean it, it didn't get used against me, thank goodness. So, um, you know, they, they got beamed onto the hollow deck away from their ship, and they didn't know. They saw a flash, and then like, what happened? And everything went up about as normal as they thought. It's fascinating. I mean, if we can prove that parallel universes exist, because right now they're kind of theoretical. If we could prove that they exist. Wow. You want to talk about, like, turning your world inside out. Ugh. That's amazing. I think it's just uh, science. What can it not do? 
It, science does everything, and I, I think it's great. And you know what? If the world gets destroyed in the process, it's just the price we got to pay to find uh, parallel universes. Because there are some universes that are better off than ours, and there are some universes that aren't. But here's the thing. Infinite possibilities in both directions. Not finite. Infinite. Both directions. Not just famous, but infamous. Despite its privacy policy, Radio Shack customer data is up for sale at auction. Wow, okay. Because uh, nothing like going out on top, is there? Yeah, you, uh, Radio Shack. You ever go to Radio Shack before? And they ask you for, uh, what was it? Zip code, birth weight, blood type, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Apparently that information, well, A, it wasn't yours the moment you handed it over. Uh, and, and B, is probably going to be sold to a third party because it's valuable. Information information is very valuable. You may not be willing to pay for information, but uh, big companies are. Mm -hmm. yeah. So another company may have your zip code. Sorry about that. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but Radio Shack, really? Can, can you not, like, just go out with a little bit of dignity? Just, just a little? I mean, I know you thought it was cute to try to upsell me batteries when I went in to buy a router one time. That was funny. But really? S selling, selling information like that? Like, uh, come on, just go out on top. Just a little bit of dignity. Is nothing sacred with you? What, what, what would keep you, Radio Shack, even though you're not listening to me, never really did, what would keep you from doing this? I'll, okay, I'll buy more batteries from you. I'll, I'll travel back in time in a parallel universe and uh, buy Tandy computers. Is that okay? Does that, does that work for you? I remember seeing uh, William Shatner do uh, Commodore VIC-20 commercials on TV. I'm retro. Nope, I'm a kid dolt. <clears throat> Next bit of news here may not be interesting to you, but it's interesting to me. No Hasbro panel is happening at Celebration, Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim, which is coming up. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. That is sad. I would like to make it. That's the one convention I always wanted to go to and just haven't. I've, I've never had the opportunity to go. Very much uh, excited about what comes from it, but no Hasbro panel. Hasbro even recently canceled their, I think, the Saga Legends series and maybe even the Rebel series of figures, which look a lot like this. These were also sent to me by Dorkside Toys. Boy, they're getting a couple shout-outs. I've got to do reviews on them, but I did the review, of course, of the Jedi Temple Guard. So now I've got an extra one. This one is going to be bank. Trust me. People are going to pay good money for this figure. This one is bank. Because it was hot to begin with, but now it's discontinued. Uh, then Plo Koon. I always liked uh, how he looked as an alien. I always liked the alien design. I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, Adat Driver. This is a duplicate, so that's great. I'll be able to keep one in box. And unbox the other one. We also have, is this Gree? Yeah, Gree. Clone Commander Gree. One of the clone troopers. These are five POAs. And then a classic TIE Fighter pilot. I don't think I have my original TIE Fighter pilot out. But I always like the design of Imperial Troopers. This is potentially, yep, yeah, it's from the Rebels cartoon series here. This one would have been from the Clone Wars cartoon series. Yeah. The Adat Driver, yeah, it was from The Empire Strikes Back. It was not actually a... A part of a, a cartoon series. I'm still missing a few from, from this particular line of, of products, but Hasbro is basically pulling back. Um, they, they've really kind of been upsetting a lot of collectors for a number of years, if only because of quality. But they're not going to announce anything at Celebration, which is a huge disappointment. Uh, I, I want to still collect figures. I love action figures, specifically Star Wars ones. But uh, yeah, they uh, discontinued the current Saga, Saga Legends figure assortments and will not be making additional shipments. That sucks. Because I think um, these are from the Rebels series, but let me see here. So this would have been, this should have been the so from the Saga Legends, because it's episode 5. Um, Empire Strikes Back. Oh, by the way, I also saw Darth Vader's hilt, the lightsaber hilt, the original one used in Empire Strikes Back. I was this close when I went to the museum. You'll see it in the video, assuming it comes out, because it was really dark in there. I may need some help with uh, Brian. If you know of any way that I can brighten that video, because I know I'm going to introduce noise no matter what I do, um, I'd be curious because I, I did my best because they didn't allow any kind of external lights in there. <clears throat> this is cool news. Uh, it's going to be titled Billion Brick Race. This is going to be a, a film, a, a, one of the, uh, in addition to the three Lego movies already on Warner Brothers release schedule, it's going to be like a breakout movie. Billion Brick Race. 
If you thought they were going to stop after one Lego movie, oh, ho, ho, you were mistaken. You were absolutely mistaken. They are absolutely making more. I'm excited about them. I really enjoyed the Lego movie. And as long as the story's good, and as long as I can collect more stuff, uh, I'm going to be happy. Yeah. That's my answer to the question. There's nothing Lego could do to disappoint me, and I don't think... If they changed their formula radically, it would be the, the dumbest decision in history. So I don't think they're going to do that. So uh, there's going to be a spinoff film. Brilliant, brilliant, billion brick race. By way of Earl Green, the number of Facebook users equals the population of China. Wow. And yet only 1% of them uh, uh, who actually like me can... Less than 1% who like me can actually see what I've posted. Have you, did you, on Facebook, have you seen anything I've posted today? Leave a comment. If you did, you know, on, on Facebook. If you saw something on Facebook, leave a comment on the post that you saw. Because normally I don't think you see anything that I share. Which is really, uh, really kind of sad to me. Uh, let me go ahead and scroll through here. And yeah, I'm going to save the rest for, I think, the, the next full um, uh, knowledge-heavy edition of TLDR. Tomorrow's TLDR is uh, AMA, so get your questions in. Uh, we'll have posted the Facebook thread for you to participate in. At some point in the future, that AMA thread question answering will be happening through the Locker Gnome application when we reboot it for iOS and Android. I know we sent out a push notification like a week ago and a after not having sent out push notifications for a while. I just got a, a random push notification from the Locker Gnome app. Maybe we have been doing them daily, but I, I only saw one the other day. It's crazy. The The app that we're currently... the, the framework that we're currently using is not amazing, which is why we're switching. We're waiting. I'm waiting to hear back from my contact at a different company. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your support in whichever ways you decide to give it. I'm going to roll into the patron hangout right now to do even more Q&A and, and team building exercises. No exercise, though, for me, because this area of my body, the, uh, the, the pec dip that happens right above the pec and right next to the collarbone, uh, that's, that's owie. No exercise for Chris. Oh. Didn't have to convince me very hard. Thank you. I appreciate you. I love you, but at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices.